Seven weeks into the oil spill crisis, there is still confusion and uncertainty about how to protect the people cleaning up the mess. Commercial fisherman George Jackson was overcome by fumes while inspecting boom. BP gave him no protective gear. They didn't supply us with nothing. Now they're starting to disperse gloves and hazmat suits. Chemicals and vapors, both from oil and dispersants, can pose serious health risks. They can inflame the nose, throat, and lungs and aggravate asthma. When absorbed in the bloodstream, oil compounds like benzene or toluene can cause headaches and dizziness and could have long-term toxic effects on the brain, liver, and kidneys after prolonged direct contact. Another concern, the long hot days for cleanup workers. OSHA today demanded BP not overwork crews. I've seen advertisements on the web saying workers are expected to work 14 hours a day, seven days a week. We know that workers who work very long days are at greatly increased risk of injury. This afternoon in Venice, a boatload of shrimp came in, harvested from one of the few fishing beds still open. But the stress is taking a toll. Would you like the state to mental health down? crisis center has fielded more than 400 calls. We moved in a FEMA trailer right here behind the house. Shrimper Mitchell Granger lost his home in Hurricane Katrina. Now he's having trouble sleeping through the night. What's tomorrow going to bring? You know, what's next year going to bring? Now, since the long-term effects are unknown, the state of Louisiana is setting up an extensive beta database to follow these workers into the future, Katie. And Jennifer, we got a question on Facebook from one of our viewers asking, are they testing the air for benzene and other cancer-causing VOCs? The EPA is testing for VOCs and particulate matter, Katie. They're testing hourly in 48 locations throughout the region. But at this time, the government says monitoring does not indicate significant concern for long-term damage, although I'll tell you some people here are skeptical. All right, Dr. Jennifer Ashton. Jennifer, thank you.